15 years old and already earning about $60 billion a year. Happy birthday indeed to Google. The search engine aims to help us make the most of our lives. So has it? I think Google's origins, you know, and what was conceived, its original motto was don't be evil. You can't start off any worse than that or any, you know, <laughs> less good than that. Obviously, it's become a commercial enterprise. It's massive in terms of revenue, and it needs to return uh, value to shareholders. So it does have commercial interests at heart, but I think it's net positive. For a business started in a garage, it's gone on to achieve great things. Can you remember life before Google? If you wanted to write to someone, you posted a letter. To get from A to B, you needed a map. To find a business, use the phone book. To watch a film, you rented a DVD. But all that was very time consuming and Google gave it to us at our fingertips, anytime, anywhere. It's of course the company that brought us Google Mail, Google Maps, YouTube, even a new verb. To Google joined the Oxford English Dictionary in 2006. In the process, the company has created the world's biggest billionaires and changed the face of modern business. But critics say it's forgotten its promise to do no evil. Google inherently is an invasion of our privacy because its whole business model is about knowing all about us so they can sell us things via advertising and they make their profits through advertising. So young, so successful, yet so powerful we don't fully know the extent of its reach. Google may be celebrating right now, but there will be others wondering what the next 15 years will bring. Poppy Trowbridge, Sky News.